Hi guys, it's Francesca here from Snap Revised to give you the top five tips for scoring an A star in A level biology. My first tip, it's not really a tip, it's more of a reminder, learn everything. Um, it's really helpful to get the specification for this because it has dot points that cover everything that you could possibly be asked in the exam. So if it's not on there, you can't really be asked it, but if it is on there, you, you could definitely get a question on it. So make sure you don't leave anything to chance, cover every single corner of the course. My second tip is understand things before you learn them. And this helps to avoid cramming as well, which is incredibly stressful and let's just not talk about it. But um, if you understand things, it makes them so much easier to remember. And also because exams really test understanding, you're gonna put yourself in a much better position to take them. Um, so in order to understand things, uh, it might help when you're making revision notes to reorganise the course. For example, you might think, OK, how many different things uh, involve diffusion or active transport and reorganise the course that way. Um, and also just make sure you're really sitting down and recalling information when you revise, not just reading through notes. My third tip uh, is to practise thinking. And this sort of links in with the previous tip about understanding. So. Um, it doesn't necessarily help if you sit down and just read through notes again and again and again. Make sure you test yourself. You can use friends to help um, or you can set yourself past papers. Also, don't run out of past papers, so use them sparingly. But um, just get different ways of covering up your notes and making yourself recall things. Um, my fourth tip is know your definitions. You are expected to use lots of um, specific scientific terms in your answers so make sure you know what they will mean it might be helpful to start a glossary and fill it in as you go through the course um, and make sure you understand the nuances between them as well so what's the difference between natural selection and evolution what's the difference between meiosis and mitosis and my fifth tip is above all be confident um, don't panic you, you've got it there's a lot of content uh, but it doesn't help to sort of work yourself up about it. Just take everything, stay organised, stay on top of things and don't ever give yourself a reason to panic. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing A-level biology resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Together we will concisely cover all of the important concepts required by your exam board specification as well as practically applying what we've learnt through exam style questions, focusing on how best to structure your answers in order to maximise marks. See you soon and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.